extreme performance, extreme difficulty, or extreme shooting accuracy. A motto of the Extreme Euro Open, a competition in practical shooting. This year again confirmed that the word extreme in its name is fully deserved. The best in shooting disciplines from all over the world participated. Therefore, as every year, the shooting elite of more than 1,000 competitors from 52 countries gathered in Hodonice near Znoimo, and among them, of course, are the world's most famous shooters. Many organizations support this event. Beretta is the oldest firearms manufacturer in the world with nearly 500 years of experience in defense and tactical fields and a strong involvement in the competition community. That's why Beretta chose to become a general partner of this shooting competition. Luego Arms Alien is a revolutionary semi-automatic pistol with several patented and unique technical solutions. Therefore, this manufacturer was also rightfully present at this prestigious competition as a general partner. Another general partner was Arma Zeka. This company develops and manufactures light handguns in the sporting and personal defense pistol sector. As participants from previous years already know, everything started on Wednesday with registration, which each of the thousands of competitors must go through. This requires a great deal of organization. Here, the main focus is on safety, of which the entire Euro Extreme Open team is responsible for its implementation. During the course of the competition, increased attention is paid with respect to safety in all places and positions. As every year, Lubor Novak was once again the head of the organizing team. As the main organizer of previous years, he surely couldn't be absent this year. And as always, the entire team under Lubor's leadership did an excellent job. One of the important members of the team is Denyek Henesh, who has been working as a partner of the Extreme Gun Group since last year. His active work, experience, and enthusiasm for shooting has become very beneficial for the organization and structure of the entire competition. Together with him, we will guide you through the year of 2022. A beautiful, sunny summer day offered an amazing spectacle. Despite the fact that the shooting range in Horonitsa is already well known to many competitors, 30 very demanding and sophisticated stages tested their readiness and fitness. Among the competitors, there were several top shooters who, from the first day, demonstrated supreme aim and speed, helping them stay at the top of the table. Among them, Manu Bijet. In the Super 6 category, he managed to shoot very successfully with high speed and accuracy. We watched his performance with great interest and even got to interview him during his stage. What do you think about this match? Boy, it's always amazing to come here. Uh, for me, it's a big pleasure. Uh, it's like a shoot a world shoot, really. Thank you, Manu, and good luck. Thank you. The smell of gunpowder attracted both men and women divided into seven rifle categories. Classic, open, standard, Revolver, Production, Production Optic, and the Spectator Popular PCC category. 
Seasoned competitors definitely benefited from their experience, but there were also a few surprises this year. Young age also proved to be an important factor for success. One such surprise was, for example, a young but very talented shooter of the Sezed shooting team. In the standard category, the shooters of this team occupied all the podiums. This category was superbly won by junior shooter of Filipino nationality, Khalil Adrian Virey. Hi, Adrian. You shoot not bad this much. <laughs> yeah. This was actually my first time here, and I really had fun. It was a great experience. Yes. You are the winner. Congratulate. The point of the competition is not only the shooting itself, but also meeting other competitors, having a good time, giving sincere hugs, and building lifelong friendships across the world. Even the world champion, European champion, Spanish champion, and winner of the World Police Games, Spaniard Jorge Ballesteros, knows all about this. I think you can you can have uh, you can meet a lot of people from all over the world. That is also a great thing, and really recommended. You know, every state is different. It's really fun to shoot. Three days of competition, uh, 30 stages, so what else, you know, is uh, the best. <laughs> Jorge himself says that he has met great people and visited fantastic places over the years. He shot with the best of the best, and he considers Eric Rafael to be his strongest competitor, who also dominated the production category this year in the Extreme Euro Open with just under 2,632 points. For Jorge, Eric is the hero of the sport. I think this is the largest uh, level three uh, in the world. Uh, the level of the participants, uh, it's amazing. The quality of the stages, it's also amazing. And what we can say else, it's, uh, you know, the, the best match probably, the, the best level three that you can attend. So I really recommend everybody to come to this match, to get experience, you know, and to have that, to have that somebody, many people is missing, competing in big matches. So this match is great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hundreds of competitors shot on 30 stages, which required each participant to shoot at least 600 shots at maximum speed. One of the world's best shooters, Pablo Genchar, performed this task exceptionally. In the PCC category, his carbine was very accurate indeed. That's why we sought him out and asked for an interview. Hi, Pablo. What do you want to say about this match? Uh, I had. Uh... I had fun this match. The first day of shooting was a little bit rusty for me. I had some mistakes on three stages, but I managed to stay at the top. And then second day and third day, I had almost no mistakes, so I jumped a little bit from the second place and managed to win the match. Okay, thank you a lot. So Pavel deservedly won the PCC category with a total of 2,555.8 points. Of the 52 countries, the largest number of participants arrived from Italy, followed by the Czech Republic and then the Philippines. Sports shooters in the colors of the Ceska's Brojovka factory team performed fantastically this year and took home a total of nine medals from the competition. Also in the production category, these shooters were successful and got all the medal places. Argentinian German Romitoli finished as bronze and the already praised Frenchman Eric Graffel took the gold. Michal Stepan took the silver. Ahoj Michale, střílel si velice dobře tento závod, a co bys nám ještě chtěl o něm říct nebo dodat? 
Byl to velmi těžký závod, ostatně jako minulý rok. Byla strašně velká konkurence zase tím, že už nebyly ty covidové opatření, tak se sjela daleko větší konkurence než minulý rok, takže to je výborný, výborná příprava na mistrovství světa. Sunday morning became a showcase of the best that these races have to offer. As every year, the audience could enjoy the exhibition performance of the final four super finale, where world leaders such as Manu Piget and Jorge Ballesteros measured their strengths. Eduardo De Cobos faced off against Germano Romitoli and on stage they measured their speed and the accuracy of their weapons. Pavo Genchar demonstrated his skill in the PCC discipline, which is by far the most viewer attractive. The final battle belonged to representatives of two generations, the younger Khalil Adrian Vire and the more seasoned Josef Rakushan, who was able to put his years of experience to good use. Competition organizers try to create conditions for shooters to enable them to perform to the best of their skills. The Extreme Euro Open is among the most difficult competitions. After all, this is regularly confirmed by the competitors themselves. Čo povedať? Pekný, ťažký závod, nebolo to ľahké. Išlo nám super počasie, takže sme radi. Každý rok sa sem vracáme a budeme sa vracať ďalej a ďalej. The promise of returning to the next competition is perhaps the biggest reward for the organizers. And this also applies to one of the biggest and at the same time most difficult competitions of the entire shooting season, the Extreme Euro Open. Lubor Novak, the main organizer, believes that a thousand competitors returned to their respective 52 countries from this five-day competition in Hodonice truly satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, dear sport shooter, see you next year in Hodonice in Czech Republic in 2023. See you. Bye.